Hi kids! Today we are going to review symbolic art and realistic art. And then at the end we are going to do some art. We're going to do symbolic art, we're going to do polar bear art, and realistic art. So let's go ahead and get started. There are two kinds of art, symbolic art or realistic art. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Symbolic art or realistic art? You tell me which is which. Take a look at these two little girls. One is symbolic art and one is realistic art. Which is which? If you said number one was symbolic art and number two was realistic art, you are correct. Number one looks like a cartoon type picture of a person, whereas number two almost looks like a photograph or some, a picture of somebody you would see in real life. So this one right here is symbolic, this one is realistic. Let's try another one. Which one is symbolic of the tiger? Number one or number two? Here's number one, here's number two. Which one's symbolic? If you said number two, you are correct. Number two is symbolic, where number one is more realistic of a tiger. Which one is realistic of this elephant? Realistic. Say number one or number two. Yep, if you said number one, you are correct. This one is a realistic watercolor painting of an elephant. This one is a symbolic painting or drawing. Which one is realistic and which one is symbolic? How about if I ask you, which one's symbolic? Number one or number two? You got it. If you said number one was symbolic, it is symbolic. And number two is realistic. What about this one? Uh-oh. This looks familiar. Yep, that's my picture book, Crunchy Not Sweet. Which one is realistic? One, this one's one, or two? You got it. Number two is realistic. So guys, that's the difference between realistic and symbolic. So now let's go ahead and draw our own polar bears that are realistic and symbolic. We're going to be making this drawing of a polar bear. It is symbolic because it does not look like a polar bear you would see in real life. It also has very simple shapes, like a, a hump and a hump here and a hump here and an oval, dots for the eyes, very simple. So this is what we're going to do first. You will need your blue piece of construction paper, an eraser, could be either this kind of eraser or an eraser like this, a black crayon, and a white piece of chalk. If you do not have these things, press pause and go get them. The cool thing about working with chalk is it erases. So just like a pencil, you'll be able to erase, erase something if you make a mistake. And it, if any time I'm going too fast, don't forget to hit pause so that the video stops and you can catch up. Okay, here we go. We should be ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a large half circle or a hump that fills our paper. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw ears. 
And again, they're the same shape. They're like that hump shape or that circular shape. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to color it in. You can turn your chalk to the side to color it in. You can turn it, you can color it by using the tip of it. You'll get a smaller line, but I'm going to use this, the side of my chalk. Also, if you have a larger piece of chalk and it's too big, you can always break it in half. So you can do this. It's a cool thing about chalk. It, if at this point you need to erase something, instead of taking your hand and going like this, like taking the eraser schnibbles and pushing them out of the way, you're going to probably want to tap like that so that you don't smear your piece. Okay, after you have it colored in, you can take your finger, oh, looks like I need more chalk on here, and you can blend in that chalk, kind of blend it in or smear it around with your fingers. There we go. And if you want it a little bit darker, use more chalk. If you want more white on it, you can use more chalk. All right. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to add the face. So you're going to need your black crayon. The first thing we're going to do is put a big oval right in the middle. Okay. Now a polar bear has what's called a split lip, so we're going to bring this line down here and we're going to go off to the right so it makes kind of like a J shape. I'm going to go back up, follow it down again, and go to the other side. And that makes the other side of the mouth. Draw two eyes. Now, guys, depending on where you put your eyes, will change the look of your polar bear. If you make them a little bit bigger, it'll also change the look. Okay, let's do an N shape, a little N shape, little N shape. And then the last thing we do is color in that and color in the nose. Now, if you want to change the look of your polar bear, Give him more of an expression. Okay. You can change the look by maybe giving your polar bear an open mouth or maybe a frowny mouth. Okay. And that will completely change the look of your polar bear. If you need to pause it here, go ahead, but we're going to do the next one. You can flip your paper over. Got some schnibbles on there. And we are going to do the realistic polar bear next. This is what the realistic polar bear looks like. It's pretty difficult to do for first grade which is what this video is made for. So you can try it. If it doesn't work the way you want it, it's no big deal because when we do art, we are um, just trying something and some art works out great and some doesn't. So it's no big deal, but we're going to try it anyways. So the first thing we're going to do in the middle, 
okay, not on the edge, like on this one, we had our polar bear popping out and saying hi to us. On the other one, we're going to have the polar bear in the middle, okay, not along the edge, but in the middle. And we're going to make a hump, and a smaller hump at that. Okay, and then we're going to connect those edges. And then we're going to make a shorter hump right here. Make sure that's shorter because this should be pretty big, this space right here. If at any time you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause. Now we're going to do the head. And the head, if you look at our head, our head he is kind of in the middle right here. So we're going to draw a circle for the head, or an oval I should say. But then we're going to draw a little triangle at the edge. This is how we start a realistic uh, drawing. We use simple, simple shapes. Now we just need to erase certain parts. So we're going to erase this line, and we're going to erase all the lines inside the head so that we can finish it. Now so we don't smear our line. Remember, we're going to tap, tap, tap. If it doesn't come off, I might need to just, there we go. You gotta be careful not to smear the line. Okay. Now we're going to firm up or uh, we're going to put some details into our polar bear. The first detail is we're going to, instead of making this really, really humpy, we're going to cut a little tiny bit of that edge off and a little tiny bit of this edge off and I'm going to use my eraser and erase that outside edge. It doesn't seem like it would do much but it just gives that polar bear a little bit of something. We're not, we're going to finish the head last, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to put some hair, or some fur, I should say, on our polar bear. Now we're going to go in the direction that the fur is uh, growing. If at any time your chalk does not work, rotate it and go to a different spot. Okay, so this fur kind of goes down, but as we get to the back of the polar bear, it starts going off to the side. We're just making dashes, and right here, we it goes straight up, then it kind of fans out. This goes this direction, this goes this direction. And then it's keeps fanning almost like a sun like you're you're doing it uh, the direction of the sun this goes up this goes out this goes this way down or kind of down and then all the way down and you can see it right here the direction it should go I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to smear the chalk a little bit. Because what's the point of having chalk if you can't smear it a little bit? <laughs> there we go. All right. There is our body. Now let's work on the head. The head, we're going to have an ear here and an ear here. Well, here's the problem. You can't see very well because it's white on white. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase 
around the outside of the ear a little bit so it shows up. And what that does is that gives a little bit of a shadow behind the head so that we'll be able to see the head. If we didn't do that, I'm going to tap again. If we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to see the head because the head's going to be white. Go ahead and color in them the head. Remember, if I'm going too fast, pause it. There we go. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. All right. Black chalk time. For the black chalk, we're going to put a tiny nose right at the end here in an oval shape. Up towards the face here, we're going to put ovals, but we're going to have them angled a little bit up. And make sure you're putting them down towards the face where this would be like almost the top of his head or her head. Okay. And then we're just going to put some little black bits here and here. Okay. Then I want you to take your pencil eraser and we're going to just erase just a tiny little bit in where the cheeks sink in. Just a little bit. I erased too much over here. There we go. So that makes that snout kind of look like it's round. Okay, and if you need to, if you have too much blue showing, I think mine has a little bit too much blue showing. I'm going to add some white, but I still want to be able to see the head. And I just noticed over here, I looked at it. Don't forget to pull your picture up and look at it from far away so you can see it from far away because that's what I'm, I can, I'm standing up and I can see it from far away. There's my polar bear. The last thing then is to put a little bit of a shadow. And if my sun is coming from over here or my light is coming from over here, the shadow is going to be on this side of the polar bear. So lightly with your crayon, I just want you to put a couple of, a few little lines over on the side. And then do the same since the light's coming from over here, the shadow is going to be on this side of the leg. Just a few lines would be great. Almost like uh, it's fur, but the fur is dark. Then just a little bit on this side, just little tiny bits on this side of the face. Okay. And I'm going to turn, like, there we go. Oh, and I can see this eye. I need to make the eye a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. Last thing, we're going to put a shadow right underneath the paw right underneath the paw. There we go. Now we kind of have, uh, oh, you know what else I'm going to do? This looks really thick over here, so I'm going to erase a little bit of this. There we go. Make it look a little bit more realistic. Doing my best to get it as realistic as possible. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a kind of a little bit of a line under here and maybe some uh, snow banks in the background. Okay. And instead of coloring it all in, we're going to make it kind of look like ice. So, we just put a little bit of snow, like it almost looks like ice. Okay, and then so we have a little bit of a reflection. I'm just going to put some little lines here. A little bit of a reflection, maybe some lines on this side of the snow bank because remember our light source is coming from this direction. And then last, let's make it snow. Some big snowflakes 
Now when you do snowflakes, make sure you're doing them in all different spots, that you're not putting them in a line, that you're scattering them all over the place. Okay, and then there is my polar bear. I hope you have fun with it. You now have a symbolic polar bear, and you can add snow up here if you'd like, and a realistic polar bear. Have fun with it. Bye.